It's interesting because I didn't originally say I wanted to be a pharmacist. I wanted to be a pediatrician. I grew up just wanting to be a pediatrician and I was living in Jamaica and back then you had to do your sciences. So you had to get A's in your chemistry, your biology and your physics in order to prep yourself for med school. And I loved chemistry. I loved bio, but me and physics, we just weren't best friends at all. And so I got to university level ready to apply and I just didn't have the credentials to get into med school. So being at that pivotal point, you've gone through high school, you're just expecting everything to flow. I was faced with a decision of what am I going to do now? So I started a particular university thinking that I could do a first degree in like a science. I think it was like pure science or something like that and to transition to medicine. But while I was doing that first degree, I was told that I'm going to be charged as an international student because at the time I was living in Jamaica, originally born in the UK. And even though I was living in Jamaica for nearly 10 years up until that point, when I got to university, they said, we're going to charge you as an international student. So I had to withdraw at that point. And once again, faced with what am I doing with my life? Like this should have been easy. I should have just naturally gone to university, become a pediatrician, look after children. It's like my little dream just popped. (laughs) And then I remember thinking, oh, maybe I'll do pharmacy. It, It actually came in second. And I thought, oh, let me apply for pharmacy. But by that time, the applying period had already passed. I remember just sitting down with a phone directory at the time, flipping through the yellow pages. And I knew that the next application time was in a couple months for the following year. So I decided, okay, let me get as much experience in the pharmaceutical industry in the meantime, before I start pharmacy school not even knowing what I was looking for. I I looked up every single distributor pharmaceutical company within Jamaica at the time. And I sent them an email. I sent them my resume with barely anything on it saying, I just want experience in pharmacy. So thankfully one person responded to me and I got a job working as a pharmaceutical sales promoter. So I had a little basket and I was going into the pharmacy, selling vitamins and promoting vitamins all while I was waiting to start pharmacy school. And then a couple months after started pharmacy school and thankfully enough, I was able to keep my job part time with full time benefits straight throughout the five years of pharmacy that I was there.